Thanks for uh, coming out today and uh, hearing a little bit about what's going on at UCA Athletics. It's an exciting time, beginning of the year. Um, like Steve said, we're off to a good start. I got uh, two wins uh, this past weekend. Uh, Mississippi Valley um, wasn't a real strong opponent, but it gave us a chance to get out and work out some kinks and let a lot of players play so that we could continue our evaluations um, through um, that we've been going through um, from preseason. So that was a good good thing for us to be able to get out against another opponent and uh, and get going. Um, last night was a much more difficult match. Uh, Louisiana Tech's a good team. Um, really pushed us hard. Um, very competitive match, and managed to to get that one as well. So we're we're off on the right foot, um, and um, we've got some freshmen that are coming in and playing a lot. We've got uh, three in the starting lineup right now, which is uh, which is a good thing. Um, improving our in depth, our improving our depth as well. Um, we've got we feel like we're too deep at every position, uh, which is going to help us going through the. You know, it's kind of a, a long, short season. Uh, we play a lot of games in a short amount of time. So um, hopefully that will pay off as the season goes along as well. Um, we do also have, I know a lot of you were at Bear Nation, we have uh, 12 seniors on our roster right now, um, which is um, huge for leadership. And, um, and, and they've done a great job of leading the group through preseason and, and as we get the, the season underway last weekend. So. Um, really looking forward to it. Hope that you all will come out and support us. Um, this Friday night's a big deal. Um, we're really excited about it. Um, the lights up, um, playing in prime time. That's what we've been talking about. Um, and so we're really excited about it. And hope that you'll come out and support us. Um, like Steve said, we're looking to to set an attendance record, and and I think we we need uh, over 400 out there to do that. Which um, maybe we can double it. So um, that's what we're looking forward to. Uh, yeah, we start out Saturday night. It's, uh, again, big night for us, too, as well. going to be our first game under the lights. We had a little alumni kick around to open the lights up in the summer. But uh, other than that, we haven't really been out there for a competitive match. So very excited about that and very appreciative of all the efforts of, of the people that made that happen. Uh, I know Jeremy and I have, have talked about that a lot. So a uh, bit about our team. We've had two games so far in exhibitions. And I think they're going to be the two hardest games of the year for us. Uh, we did that on purpose. We played uh, Mobile, who were who got upset in the NAIA National Championship last year by Bellhaven, and then uh, Tulsa, who's preseason number 14 in the country. So besides maybe St. Louis on the schedule, that's those are probably the two toughest opponents. So lost 2-1 to Mobile away, lost 3-2 to Tulsa on Saturday night. But uh, some huge positives coming out of those games. Uh, one of our freshmen uh, getting on the score sheet, Wes Carson from Fort Smith. Uh, so that was pretty cool. We don't have a lot of Arkansas kids that, that uh, come through the soccer program just because of the population playing it in the state. So to be able to get a big time kid like that in state is pretty cool. So he'll be starting on Saturday night uh, for us up top and hopefully scoring some more goals. Uh, first three games happen to be against Southland opponents, even though they we're in the Missouri Valley Conference. So our goal is to win the Southland Championship by next weekend. Uh, <laughs> we're hoping someday to get uh, get men's soccer in the Southland because there's four of us now. We need two more to, to get an automatic bid. So that's kind of what we're waiting for. So down the road you may see it, but uh, for now we're going to keep going toward a Missouri Valley Conference Championship, and that's a big goal for us this year. Uh, brought my associate head coach, Ryan Webb, today. He's a big part of the program, ton of the recruiting, scouting, team training, you know, all that stuff. Does almost no office work. That's uh, <laughs> Michael Gerard, our extra help that does that. Um, want to say a big thanks to Katie and Greg. I don't know if everyone knows these guys, but they've done a ton of work for both programs with a lot of video, a lot of promotion stuff. And Greg's one of the alumni of our program. So really cool job that they're doing. So thanks, guys. That's all I've got. Our game is at 7 o'clock on Saturday night. And uh, we've got a little ribbon cutting ceremony. The leading scorer in UCA men's soccer history, Brett Johnson. I think a teammate of Derek Nichols. Is that right, Derek? Yeah, that's great. Yep. Uh, he's going to be out there uh, to help kick off the lights for us. So Saturday night. Come on out. We'd love to have you. Steve texted me this morning. He says, you are 52 or 53? I said, I'm 52. Let's not get too far ahead. I feel like I'm 72, and I feel like I look like I'm 102. <laughs> Just got out of camp. Uh, first of all, it's an exciting time, a uh, very anxious time uh, for obviously all of our fall sports and 
uh, our, our football program. Uh, the difference is we don't get to play preseason games or scrimmages. And, you know, when we, when we tee it up, we get to scrimmage against each other, which is pretty cool, but um, we don't get to play outside competition. And so when we kick it off on Thursday, it's for keeps. I mean, they're keeping score and they're keeping records, and, and that always makes it uh, very, very anxious. Steve talked about uh, my 14th year. I just want you to know that I'm very humbled um, uh, to, to be your head coach and to represent the university, uh, to represent our administration, President Courtway's here, uh, Dr. Teague, our board, uh, and all of you, more importantly. And it's, it's an honor to work uh, with the young people in our program and have an excellent uh, coaching staff as, as we have uh, again this year. Uh, going back a little bit leading up, because I don't believe I've spoken to this group since signing day, um, or, or, or some of you during, uh, during that time, uh, we had an excellent spring practice. We felt like we got a, a great deal accomplished, uh, able to keep our frontline guys sharp, and, and started the process of, of creating depth, uh, building some what we hope will be mental and physical toughness throughout our off-season program. And along those same lines, uh, Henry Briscoe, uh, the, strength and, the head strength and conditioning coordinator here at the university, is also beginning his 14th year. Uh, so. Uh, the front end of our program, which is myself and the back end, and I wouldn't tell him that if you know Henry, but there's been a consistent message for 14 years for our student athletes on what our expectations are, both on the front end uh, and the back end. We've had some wonderful assistant coaches that have come through the program. Some are still here. Some have been here for many, many years. But the message and the vision has remained the same. And, and I think that that uh, is what has helped us to have whatever level of success that we've had, um, you know, manifest itself. So we moved out of spring uh, pretty healthy. I uh, didn't have any major injuries. We got into our summer program and uh, felt like we had the best summer we've ever had. Obviously, a lot of momentum coming off another championship and, and, and another playoff appearance, a top 10 finish. All those were very, very positive things. So the energy in our program was very good but the highest level of, of investment and commitment that, that we'd seen. And uh, every scholarship player that came out of the spring that was returning uh, to Central Arkansas was here the entire summer. Some non-scholarship players were here the entire summer. We had four uh, freshman uh, signees that were here the entire summer and two transfers. And then the rest of the, uh, the high school signees came and a few non-scholarship players in July. So the majority of our team was here the entire summer. Uh, they're very driven and, and have a, you know, have a very high goal and high expectations, you know, for themselves. We talked about stadium record. Steve did. You know, I think the, the record is just under 13,000 uh, set in 2011 in a Thursday night game. And I've, I've kind of tried to promote this wherever we could. So let's get 13,000. Let's get 13,000 people. And again, our home fans, y'all have been unbelievable for many, 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 many years. But bring somebody else with you. Really will reach out to our students. Really reaching out. I spoke to all the freshmen at Welcome Week, and uh, they showed up in big numbers for the, you know, that deal. And, and um, you know, an appreciation for what, you know, our team has done, but more importantly, given the energy and the, and the confidence moving forward this year. So hopefully we can, um, we can get 13,000 here at the stadium. Only game in the state, first division, one game in the state, Thursday night game. Um, you know, I, I don't see any reason why that can't happen in a town of 65,000 people. 